Welcome back to another video of Restored by Ally. Today's video, we're actually going to be reviewing Dwill paint. They reached out to me and asked me if I would do a review on their paint products for wood furniture. So that's what we're doing today. We got the color olive green. And this is what they included in the kit that they sent to me. A pair of gloves, a stir stick, a roller, paintbrush, sandpaper, tape, and some tarp. Everything you would need. So I'm excited to use that paint on this piece of furniture. We are doing a wooden dresser. It's a pretty big wooden dresser. Um, we're gonna sand some parts down and then paint a good portion of it. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so we just got done cleaning it and now I'm gonna wait for it to dry completely before we're gonna sand the top and these top three drawers and the rest will be scuffed sanded so that we can paint the rest of it. And this top has a few divots and everything in it and it looks like they have a little bit of repairs that were done in the past. So this might be painted depending on how bad it looks after it's sanded. I'm gonna remove all of the hardware off of this dresser and I'm gonna replace it with new hardware at the end of this video. You'll see me using leather and these kind of like gold knobs on the top. Trust me, it's gonna look good. So I started sanding the top of this piece with an 80 grit sandpaper and it was getting through everything just fine, but then the repairs that I mentioned earlier in the video that the previous owners did to the top of it just was not gonna look good just sanded down, so I ended up having to paint the top anyways. Here are the marks that I was talking about that they have previously repaired that if I kept sanding would turn completely white, so like I said, we're gonna paint the top. Now I'm just scuff sanding the drawers and the base. Okay, it's time to start painting. I am actually going to show you guys a trick that I think is useful, but um, I don't buy paint trays. I think it's a waste of money and not needed. I just use like a lid from a tub. I usually use a bigger one, but since we only have a small roller today, I'm just going to use a small lid and then a grocery bag from the grocery store. And I just flip it over. Tuck it in. And then I will pour my paint just right on top of that. Actually, don't do it on this side with the black and the red. Do it on this side where it's nothing on there because the ink will come off the bag. So I'll just pour the paint on here and roll it. And then when I'm done, just take this off and throw it away. Easy. Now I'm gonna put the first layer of the Dwill paint. Again, if you're curious about the color I'm using, it's olive green. I'll put the link in my description just in case you wanna purchase this paint or the other paints that they have. They have some really cool colors. Now it's time to put the first layer of paint on the drawers. I noticed that when I put the paint on, it seems like a different color than what I thought it was gonna be, but once it dries, it's like the beautiful olive green that I expected. Now 
Now just like that, in YouTube time, they're already dry and ready for the second layer. Next, I'm going to stain the top three drawers, let them dry, and then add a top coat. Alright, we have everything painted. So all we need to do right now is wait for the drawers and the touch-ups on the dresser to completely dry. And then I'm going to add the top coat, which is probably going to be a matte or satin clear coat from Minwax. And then after that, we get to add the hardware, which is gonna be these leather handles. Um, let me see if I can find one. Like this, they're gonna be poles. Um, I think it's gonna make the piece look so cool. It's gonna look so different than what it used to look like. I'm excited. Um, the paint is so nice. It took me three coats and I really like the color when it's dry. When I put it on and it was wet still, I was like, whoa, this isn't the green I thought it would be. But once it dries, it definitely looks exactly how I want it. Now I'm adding the top coat, which is a satin finish from Minwax, and it's the water-based clear coat. I saw this little scary looking spider on the piece and so I thought I'd film it and show you guys for no reason. Okay, so now I have the drawers, the big drawers put in and the smaller drawers are back there um, drying after I put the top coat on top of them. Top coat on top, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna add the hardware to these drawers now which are the leather straps. There's two sizes you can make them. I'm gonna make them the smaller size. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the smaller size. I'll double check, but I will have to cut this off if I choose the smaller size. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here are the hardware for the bigger drawers. This is how it turned out. I think it looks really good. I really like the contrast of colors. Okay, we have put on all the hardware and completed the look. I'll get some shots for you guys up close. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Baku and I appreciate all the support. Go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. We appreciate all of that. Thank you so much. See you next time.